Well, tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can get out there, celebrate a little bit. Maryland Day at the university's College Park campus. And did you know that a fire once destroyed every dorm, most of the records, and half the classrooms and office space at the school? But this was a while back, 1912. Hmm. It started on November 29th, the Thanksgiving Day dance, and it caused about $250,000 worth of damages back then. That adds up to about $5.5 million in today's money. Nobody died or was hurt, and only one of the only buildings not to burn was Morrill Hall. Hmm. Our Mike Hydeck is live in College Park tonight, teaching us a whole lot more about the University of Maryland and giving us a preview of tomorrow's big day. Hi, Mike. And I know you guys are jealous because we're having an absolute blast out here on the University of Maryland campus. They have phenomenal engineering and technology here. And among the things they do is they build robots, lots of them. With me now is Kit. This particular yellow one called Tortuga 4 actually is a submersible kit. Yeah, it's a robotic submarine. It's designed to uh, drive it by itself. It's like Google's autonomous car. You tell it to drive around, find things, uh, fire torpedoes, and it'll do it, all those tasks. It fires torpedoes. It does fire torpedoes. Uh, unfortunately, they don't look very impressive out of the water, but uh, it can certainly try. <laughs> and now you guys compete. Do you have a competition coming up? Uh, it's robosub.org. You can check out our competition. It happens in San Diego in July. All right. Good luck, Kit. This is really cool. Okay, and we have another young lady here. She's going to uh, make these robots actually do some work for you. Your name again, sweetheart? Hongi. Hongi. Okay, these are, do they actually come? two NXTs. Um, they're going to work together to balance the seesaw. So when I tilt it back, um, the other one's going to move back and this one moves forward. Um, this one has an accelerometer sensor that change, senses the change in like the board angle. And the other one just maintains a certain distance from the other NXT. Have you always been interested in robotics? Is that your thing? Um, no, I've actually never done robotics before I came to college. But um, right now I work uh, with Dr. Paley in the Collective Control Dynamics Lab. And um, where we uh, do a lot of robotics um, with multi-vehicles. Now, is this the same thing where you have to give it a computer program and it can actually do what you tell it to? Right, yeah. So this, this has code that reads in the data from the accelerometer, um, which senses the change in the board angle, which tells it to, um, ha tells it to changes the speed of the NXT um, so that it moves. Very, very cool. Okay, what's this? Can this move? It's off! Well, you are going to get a chance to see a lot of the engineering prowess that they have here in the University of Maryland campus. And look at all the people ready to teach you about robotics, something I have absolutely no knowledge of. Thankfully, they can help you out. Okay, live in College Park, we are glad to be here. Make sure you show up tomorrow, 10 to 3, I believe, right? I think it's 10, 10 to 4. 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Thanks.